everyone, welcome to Little Learner's Mother's Day Circle. This will be the last circle we'll be able to have before Mother's Day, so this will be our last practice day for our songs. And along with this video, I am going to send home special sheets that you can do to make a card for your mom, lots of posters, and a special little gift that you're going to have to do with either older brothers and sisters if you have them, but probably your dad. You're going to answer some questions that you about your mom, things you like about your mom, things you do together that are fun. So I will attach those to these videos. So let's get started with our Little Learner's Mother's Day Circle. Ready? Oh, we're glad we came to school. Yes, we are. Oh, we're glad we came to play. Yes, we are. We'll make friends and we will share. We'll take turns everywhere. Oh, we're glad we came to school. Yes, we are. Oh, we're glad we came to school. Yes, we are. Oh, we're glad we came to play. Yes, we are. We will paint and we will sing. We'll play games and other things. Oh, we're glad we came to school. Yes, we are. So as I said, this is a very special Mother's Day circle. So we'll do the circle together today. And then at the end, we're going to practice all of our songs together. So this might be a good one to put back on on Sunday. That's the real Mother's Day on Sunday. So that you can sing the songs to your mom and I can help you out with the music and the songs from this video. All right. You have to get your dad to do that. All right. So first things first, we need to find out what comes next in our pattern on our calendar. All right. Let's take a look. So we have a flower, a bumblebee, flower, bumblebee, flower, bumblebee, so next would come a flower and this is today. So what do you think is going to come today? Did you say bumblebee? That's right. We're going to put a bumblebee in next. But first, let's take a look at the number on our bumblebee. Oh, this looks very familiar. Remember? Start with an S and then don't wait. Race back to the gate and make a number eight. That's right, it's the number eight. Let's tuck our bumblebee eight in there. All right, now we have to make sure that we say the right names of the numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good counting, my friends. Give yourselves a big clap. Pat your back. Give yourself a hug and a great big kiss. Mwah! Good job. Wiggle those fingers high. Wiggle them low. Wiggle them fast. And wiggle them slow. Good job. Today, I think we're going to have wiggly fingers over here. So let's see, four fingers wiggle over here. And then how many do you think we need to wiggle over here? Is one enough? It's not enough. How about two? Is two enough? Not enough. We need three wiggly fingers over here. So let me see your fingers. Wiggle four over here, three over here, and then we're going to put them together. Four, plus three equals seven. Seven days in a week. Seven days in a week. Seven days in a week. And I know them all. There is Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. 
with a letter that goes it tickles the top of our lip. What day of the week starts with that letter sound? Did you say Friday? That's right. It is Friday. And we can't write it on the board today. So let's see if we can look at our Friday here and see if we can say the letters together. I'm not sure if you can see that. Hmm, you know what? I can do it on a whiteboard. How about I print them on a whiteboard? Yeah, my whiteboard is over there. And my marker's over here. Let's use my whiteboard. All right. Yeah, we can't write it on the board because we have our fancy Mother's Day up there. So let's do our first letter. That is an uppercase L. So that is a long line down, a little line at the top, and a little line in the middle. There's our F for Friday. And I left my neck, my letters over here. All right, so our next letter, my friends, is an R. Er. That is a little line down with a little roof. The next letter goes I, 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 I. That's an I. So that is a little line down with a polka dot. Just a little dot, not a snowball or a circle, just a dot. Then our next letter is a D. D, D, D. So that is a little circle and a long Our next letter is an A. Ah, ah, ah. So that is a little circle, and our circle needs to be the same size as our D circle, and it only has a little line. And then our last letter in Friday is a Y. Y, Y, Y. And remember, Ys are twice as fun, because you get to slide two times. One little slide, one long slide. We're going to go our little slide first and slide this way and then our long slide is going to go the other way and touch the bottom of that little slide and keep on sliding. There are the letters in Friday. All right, so now we can point to them and say their names. F R I D A did you say those with me? Good job. Now we are going to say those letters sounds because every letter has its own special sound. So we're going to say the letter sounds. F says R, R, I, 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 D, 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 D. says y, y, y. And when we put those together, we say Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. And we're going to have some fun. Today is all about mommy. Today is all about mommy. Today is all about mommy. We're going to read Mother's Day stories too, actually. And we are going to practice our Mother's Day song so that you will be ready for Sunday. All right, so I'm gonna put that down there. We practice our Friday. Right now, I think my friends need to take a look outside. Hmm, what's the weather? What's the weather? Look outside, all my special friends. Rainy, snowy, or sunny, snowy, or sunny. Let's check. See what my friends think is happening outside. Does anyone see snow? No, there is no snow outside. Thank goodness that's all gone. Is it 
to warm you outside today. It is not stormy out today. How about sunny? We've had a little bit of sun today and it's trying really hard, but there are some clouds moving in. So let's put the sun up. Maybe if we put them up, they'll be able to shine some more. How about rain? We had a little bit of rain. So let's put a little, let's put our rain up there. I'm not quite sure. Some of those clouds look like they might be bringing more rain. How about windy? It has still been so, so windy. There we go. And cloudy. It has been cloudy. It's been a big mix of weather outside today. It has been, are you ready to say it with me? Today's weather is cloudy, windy, rainy, and sunny. That's right. It has been a lot of different types of weather, but that's what spring is all about. We need all of those different types of weather to help everything start growing. Have you seen anything growing in your garden? I have in mine. Like I told you the other day, my leaves on my trees are starting to bud. I have flowers starting to poke through the ground. Don't have any petals yet, but the, the leaves are growing in the ground. So those have started to grow. And my grass, thank goodness, is getting green now because it was very yellow over the winter. When all that snow melted and I finally got to see my grass, it was very yellow, but not now. It's getting greener and greener. The leaves are growing and growing. The flowers are growing and growing. And pretty soon, our gardens are gonna look so beautiful. I still need to get out in mine and clean mine up a little bit because I haven't done that yet, but everything is starting. And that means that Miss Kay needs to get moving too. And I need to get those weeds out of the garden because weeds are not good in our garden. And this is not good. Our friend Weather Bear has a problem. <gasps> He's bare naked. Is he allowed to come to school bare naked? No, no, no. Today is Mother's Day, not bare naked day. <gasps> we need to get some clothes on him. Now, since we've had some rain, some places are a little bit wet and there's some puddles places. So I think Weather Bear would like to put on his rain boots. There we go, so that he can jump. Jump in those puddles. Everybody likes to jump in the puddles if they're wearing rain boots. Can you jump in the puddles if you're wearing flip flops? How about if you're wearing your runners? No, that's what's so special about rain boots. They're the best. They're easy to get on, they're easy to take off, and you get to splash in the puddles. So he's gonna wear his rain boots. And it's been a little bit chilly, so he's gonna wear his pants again. And maybe he want, should he wear his raincoat or his green coat? Maybe his raincoat. He hasn't worn that in a little while. He can wear his raincoat today. Yeah. Then he'll be ready if it does really, really super rain. And of course, if he's going to wear his raincoat, he should take his umbrella. And he can use that just in case. And he does have a special hat he can wear too if it's rainy outside. Maybe he'll only wear his rain hat today. There we go. Maybe he'll wear his rain hat. But just in case, I'm going to put on his sunglasses too. Yep. Because sometimes, like I said, the weather has been really tricky. We've been getting all different types of weather. So we're going to put on all different types of clothing for the weather then the weather bear will be ready. Because if the sun really comes out, he can just take off his raincoat and maybe put on his green coat. 
or take off his rain hat and put on his ball cap. Or sometimes you can wear your ball cap in the rain too. I do that a lot. Pull my hair back in a ponytail and put on a ball cap even if it's raining. That works too. Yeah. You can always change up your clothes whenever the weather changes. But it's always best to have it and be able to take it off than to be caught somewhere and not have an, a raincoat or rain boots or an umbrella. You can always take them off if you get too hot or you don't need them because the sun comes out. Yep. But it's always better to take them first and then take them off after. All right, it's time to watch and listen. We're going to read a book. We'll sit on the rug and use our eyes to look. We'll look at the pictures, hear the story too. I'm so glad I have this story to share with you. So this first story, my friend, would be one that I would have read you here at school. Because if we were here at school, then we would have had a special thing called a tea party. Now a tea party is a lot of fun. You and your moms would have both come to school today and you would have worn very fancy clothes. So you get to wear pretty dresses or button up shirts or ties. Maybe you would wear party shoes or dress shoes, nice slacks, and you would come and your mummies would get dressed up too and they would come and I would have the classroom decorated so pretty with streamers and butterflies and um, I was going to say fireflies, not fireflies, dragonflies. And it would have been so pretty and looked very, very springy. And you would have made special presents for your mummies to give to them today. And we would have planted seeds. But unfortunately, we weren't able to do any of that. So we're going to try our best in this circle to cover most of the things we would have done as far as singing is concerned. And then, like I said, I'm going to send some pages home that you can do with your dads and your older siblings so that you can decorate your house to look very springy for your mom. And a couple of extra little pages. And you know what else you can do, my friends? You can make your mummy special painted rocks. That's a great idea because lots of us have rocks outside. So when you go for a walk sometime before um, Sunday, pick up a few rocks. You might find rocks that look like different shapes. Maybe they'll look like a heart, or maybe they'll look like a bunny, or maybe it'll look like a ladybug or a butterfly. Then you could paint your rock to look like a butterfly, use beautiful colors, or a bumblebee, or a ladybug and you can give them to your mom and she can put them out in her garden and they can remind her how much you love her. Maybe you put sunshines on your rocks or hearts and rainbows. You can paint them with all different things and then you can give those to your mommy too on Mother's Day. Remember, Mother's Day is Sunday. Sunday is Mother's Day. So that's another thing you can do, another a present that you can make for your mom. But my story right now is called A Cuddle for Claude. Look at that. What kind of an animal is Claude, my friends? Is he a bear? He is a bear. But does he look like Weather Bear? He doesn't. Weather Bear is a brown bear. A brown bear lives in the forest. What kind of a bear is this? He's not brown, he is white. He is a polar bear, that's right. And polar bears li don't live in the forest. Polar bears live where there is ice and snow. That's right, they live where there's ice and snow. And look, Claude even has another type of bear. That's not a brown bear either. What kind of a bear is that? We have some of these in our zoo. Those are panda bears. That's right, those are panda bears. The 
circles are black and white. Let's find out what our story is about. A cuddle for Claude. Claude woke up from his afternoon nap. In his sleep, he had been hugging his blanket. But now he wanted a real cuddle. A cuddle from his mom. So Claude went to find her. Mom had her arm full of groceries. Hello, dear, she said. Are you up already? When he asked for a hug, she kissed him on the forehead instead. I will give you a great big cuddle, Claude, but I have a few things to finish first. So why don't you go and look at a book and I'll come as soon as I can. So Claude went to the bookcase and he took out his favorite book. He read and he read at least four pages. Then he went to find his mom. She was making some sticky stuff in a bowl. Have you finished reading already? She asked, glancing at the clock. I would give you a cuddle, Claude, but my hands, they're all covered in dough. Why don't you go and draw a picture and I'll come and cuddle you just as soon as I can. So Claude sat at his desk. He drew and he drew until there was no more paper left. Then he went to find his mom. Oh, have you finished your picture already? She said as she took the baking out of the oven. Hmm, I would give you a cuddle, Claude, but this tray is very hot. Why don't you go and do a puzzle? And I'll come and cuddle you as soon as I can. Claude pulled out his best jigsaw puzzle. He put all the pieces together. Hmm, they didn't look quite right, but he was sure Mum must be ready by now. But she wasn't. Have you finished your puzzle already? She asked. I just need to finish this, Claude. And then I promise I'll come and cuddle you. But Claude was fed up. He had read four pages of his book. He had drawn loads of pictures. He had done his most difficult jigsaw puzzle. Well, almost. But his mom still hadn't given him a cuddle. There could only be one explanation. He picked up his toys into his blanket. His mom didn't love him anymore. Mom finished at last and called to Claude but he was nowhere to be seen. She spotted a trail of toys. It was leading outside to the garden. Claude was sitting on his blanket under the big tree. What are you doing out here? Asked his mom. Claude looked very sad. Oh, Claude, said his mom and she took him by the hand. I'm sorry I was too busy to cuddle with you, Mom said. I just wanted 
everything to be ready for your surprise. Mom showed Claude the table. It was laid out with a fancy afternoon snack, including Claude's favorite freshly baked cookies. Just then, the doorbell rang. Ding dong. Surprise! Someone cried, and she popped her head around the door. It was Grandma. Now can I have a cuddle? asked Mom. Me too, laughed Grandma, and they all gave each other the biggest cuddle they could. <gasps> That's what cuddles are all about. Oh, it makes everyone feel so good. And boys and girls, did you know that grandmas are mummies too? That's right. So on Sunday, you need to make sure that you wish your grandmas a very happy Mother's Day too, because they are moms to either your mom, like in Claude's case, that this is his mom, and this is his mom's mom, but maybe it's your daddy's mom. Yeah. So you need to make sure that you wish not only your mom a happy Mother's Day, but your grandma a happy Mother's Day too. And I have put in an extra little sheet in along with this video too, that you can tell some things to your grandma that you like about her. So you have one to do for your mom and one to do for your grandma. And then maybe you could make that special trip over to grandma's house and leave it for her. You might not be able to go inside and see her, but you can put them on her doorstep and ring the door wait for grandma to open the door and then wish her a very happy Mother's Day. You could paint some of those rocks for grandma too. She would love to have those in her garden and then all summer long she'll remember all about you and how much you love her when she's out doing her gardening. Yeah! So we've got grandmas that are moms, moms that are moms, and little ones that love their moms and their grandmas so, so much. That's right, my friends. All right, so it's time. We are going to practice all of our songs. So on Sunday, when you're ready to sing all of these songs to your mom, if you like and you want my help, you can get your daddy to set up the video so that we can sing these songs together to your moms. This way it'll help you with the words because I'll be right there singing along with you. Okay, so ooh, we are going to start at the beginning with I love my mummy. <clears throat> All right, are you ready to stand up? Get those thumbs ready and you're gonna sing nice and loud and guess what? Now you don't have to point to me anymore when we're practicing our songs because your mummies are going to be right there. So I want you to make sure that you practice pointing to your mummies. That's right. You get to point to them now and tell them how much you love them. Ready? I love my mummy. Yes, sirree. She is very good to me. She makes me cookies and yummy treats. That's my mom, she's really neat. Oh, 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 who wouldn't know? Oh, 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 who wouldn't know? I love my mommy, she loves me. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Our next song is our bumblebee song. Bzzz. We need to catch a bumblebee. Bzzz. Do you have it? Check inside. All right, let's bring it home to mom. I'm bringing home my baby bumblebee. Won't Squishing up my baby 
bumblebee? Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up my baby bumblebee. Ooh, ee, it's all over me. I'm wiping off my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm wiping off my baby bumblebee. Ooh, ee, it's still on me. I'm licking off my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm licking off my baby bumblebee. will be five pretty mommies. Get up your five fingers. Five pretty mommies I once knew. Short ones, tall ones, skinny ones too. But the one in the middle, she belongs to me. I love her and she loves me. To the grocery store we will go, skipping, skipping to and fro. But the one in the middle, she belongs to me. I love her and she loves me. Good job. Next one we're going to sing, my friends, is our Over in the Meadow song. All right, so make sure you get your froggies ready. Over in the meadow, in the sand and the sun, lived an old mother frog and her little froggy one. Croak, said the mother, I croak, said the one. So they croaked and they croaked in the sand and the sun. Over in the meadow, in a stream so blue, lived an old mother fish and her little fishes too. Swim, said the mother, we swim, said the two. So they swam and they swam in a stream so blue. lived an old mother bird and her little birdies three. Sing, said the mother, we sing, said the three. So they sang and they sang on a branch of a tree. Good job. All right, our next song, my friends, is going to be Mommy Loves Me. And that's when we get to make those faces. Are you ready? Mommy loves me, this I know, for she always tells me so. She holds me when I'm scared and sad and understands me when I'm mad. Yes. Mommy loves me, yes, mommy loves me, yes, mommy loves me, she always tells me so. Good job. Then the next one, my friends, is, oh, hmm, how about we, oh, Mommy has a first name. I can't write it on the board again. So hopefully you've written it on a piece of paper before. So I'm going to write it on my whiteboard. Okay. 
actually have two wakeboards, so I'll give you both of these. Because one, we need to say, mummy. So do you remember? Our letters we need for mummy are and sisters helping you out or even your daddy you can all grow into flowers and make a beautiful family bouquet for your mom to enjoy on Sunday that's Mother's Day remember all right we're gonna put up our umbrellas just like Weather Bear is carrying his today we're gonna put up our umbrellas so that we can do some fun things like Weather Bear are you ready put up your umbrella as the rain comes down, wear a happy smile, wipe away a frown. Splashing in the puddles, do a little dance. Rain is what we need for our new spring plants. We need that weather. Remember we talked about that earlier? Good job. And another thing we're going to start to see, and Miss Kay has them up here, are butterflies. So get your butterflies ready. Butterflies, butterflies, flying all around. Up in the bushes, down along the ground. Flying very fast, flying very slow. 
flying very high and flying very low. Butterflies, butterflies, what I want to know. Where do you go when it starts to snow? Wrap yourself up. Got to keep yourself warm for the winter. And our last one is our special one for our mothers. Remember, it was Mother's Day. So we're going to say, Mother's Day, Mother's Day is a very special day. Here's a great big hug and lots of kisses too. Each one says that I love you. Good job, boys and girls. That's our little concert for our moms on Mother's Day. You guys did a really great job and you might want to have your mummy and I love you's written somewhere so that it can help you out when you're singing to your moms. So you might want to do those a little bit early. We've been practicing them on the back of our pages, so you might want to even just use one of your old pages. I'm going to show you quickly the pages that I have that I'm going to send with you. First of all, I'm going to send two different cards. So if you have a brother or a sister, maybe you can do one and your brother or sister can do the other. Or maybe you can do one and daddy does the other. But one of them is, it's called, they're both called love bugs. This one is got hearts all over it. And it says, so it's got hearts and lots of little legs. And then this one is the face and the body and it says happy Mother's Day. So there's one with hearts that you can do, that love bug that says happy Mother's Day. Or, because we've been doing lots of things with bumblebees, I've got a love bug that you can turn into a bumblebee. And in a beehive, my friends, there's one very special bee that everybody loves. And she's called the queen bee. So this one says, happy Mother's Day, queen for the day. That means your mommy gets to be extra, treated extra special on Mother's Day. She gets to be queen for the day. And then you can color the, do you remember what color a bumblebee would be? That's right, a bumblebee would be yellow and black. So you can color one of these love bugs and your brother or sister or your daddy can help you and color the other one. <coughs> and I also have some special pages about your mom. I've put in a couple of different ones because one you might like better than the other to do. And so one of them says, it's got a mom here and it says, Happy Mother's Day. And it says, my mom is, and then it says how old your mommy is. So you're going to have, this is what you're going to need your brother or sister or your dad probably your dad to help you out with so that he can write in whatever you want to say about your mom. And your brothers and sisters can do these too, so they can give them to your moms. So there's one that has a mom already drawn in there. It says, my mom is how old? So you put in how old your mom is. And then it says, my mom is really good at, so you can tell your daddy what your mom is really good at. And it says, my mommy always says, because maybe there's something your mommy always says to you. And then it says, my mom is not very good at, because mommies aren't good at everything. There's always something that we're not very good at. And then it says, my mom's favorite thing to do is, and see, you say what mommy's favorite things to do is. It says, my mom is happy when, so then you can put in whatever your, your mommy is happy when, She's doing whatever. And then it says, my mommy loves me because, and you're gonna write in there what, why you think your mommy loves you. 
And then down at the bottom it says, Mom, I love you because, and then you get to put what you love about your mom. So the, all the other questions are what you think your mom likes or doesn't like or is good at or is not good at, what she, but then at the bottom you get to tell your mommy why you love her. So that's one of the Mother's Day ones. The other one is like this. And this one, the mom and the and the uh, um, the little one doesn't have any hair, so you get to put it in your hair, because maybe your mom's hair is short, maybe it's long, maybe it's curly, maybe yours is spiky, maybe yours is curly, so we get to draw our hair on and what color we'd like our hair to be. That's right. So we get to do if it's curly or spiky or straight or long or short or curly. Do we have bangs in the front or no bangs? And then this one says, um, it says, my mommy is how old? So you're going to say how old your mommy is. My mommy always says this at bedtime. So maybe your mommy says different as something different at bedtime. My mommy always laughs when I... So what is it you that makes your mommy laugh? My mom is really good at, and then you get to say what she's really good at. My favorite thing to do with my mom is, you get to write that in, and then it asks a funny question. It says, my mommy's purse is full of, hmm. So you get to say what you think is in your mommy's purse. That's kind of a funny question. Your mommy will be happy to hear what that is. And then it says, if moms were flowers, I would pick you. So you can do that one with your mom. Or like I said, you can, you can do one and your brother or sister can do another one. And then we talked about that grandma, that grandmas are moms too. So then I put in one for grandmas too, so that you can, when you've painted those rocks for your grandma, you can take, fill this out too. It says, I call her because not everybody calls their grandma grandma. Sometimes they call them um, Grammy or um, I'm called Nana. So maybe they're your Nana or your Nanny or your Abuela or lots of different things. People call their, their, their grandmas all different things. And then it says she calls me. Maybe your grandma has a, a pet name for you. And then you say she is, and then you say how old she is, and then you say uh, her and I love to, and then you get to write what you get to, what you like to do with your grandma. We like to do that together. She makes the best. Oh, so you have to say what she makes the best. I remember my when my grandmother. So then you get to remember something that you did with your grandma or something that grandma did, and my grandma always says. And then you get to write what she says. And then it says, I love her so much. And again, you get to put faces and hair on your grandma and you. So you might need to ask your mom or dad what color grandma's eyes are. If you don't know, you can put her right the right color of eyes and the right color of eyes for you and what grandma's hair looks like. Because maybe grandma's hair is blonde like Miss K or maybe it's brown or gray. Yeah, you never know. Maybe it's short or long. Maybe she wears it in a bun or braids. Uh, all different things, yeah. Or black, your grandma's hair might be black. And then you get to do it. And that's really cool. This uh, little person is sharing a drink with their grandma. It's one drink with two straws. That's always fun, especially if it's a milkshake. Mm. Do you like sharing milkshakes with your grandma? Mm. That would be nice. So you get to do those. And then I put in a whole bunch of lots, lots of different pages that are, this one says Happy Mother's Day, this one says Happy Mother's Day, this one says Mom with lots of flowers, Mom all decorated. Mothers are, are the ribbons, Mother, the ribbons of your love are woven around my heart. 
color these in all night. If I had a flower for each time I thought of my mom, I could walk in my garden forever. Go. home is where your mom is the world's sweetest mom maybe your mommy likes to do some lots of baking so there's one with that best mom ever and then happy mother's day with some birdies outside so there's lots and lots of different posters and things that you can that you can color and you can put them all over the house so that when your mommy wakes up on on mother's day she will be able to see all of those Speaking of waking up on Mother's Day, you know what's really nice for moms to have on Mother's Day? Is that they don't have to wake up really early. No, let your mommy sleep until she wakes herself up. But then when she's awake, it's really nice if you and your dad and your brothers and sisters, if you have them, if you make your mom a very special breakfast. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mummies like to have their breakfast in bed on Mother's Day. If they like that, your dad would know if, they, if your mummy would like that. You can take her breakfast to her bed for her, or you can invite her down to the kitchen and eat in the kitchen at your table and have a very special breakfast made for mummy. Maybe get her special things that she likes to eat for breakfast. Lots of mummies like coffee for breakfast. I like tea, so my boys make me tea for breakfast. Yeah, you can do special things like that. But make sure that your mummy has a very special day and she knows how much you love and appreciate her. That's important for mums. All right, I have one last book to share with you before we go. So are you ready? It's time to watch and listen. We're going to read a book. We'll sit on the rug and use our eyes to look. We'll look at the pictures and hear the story too. I'm so glad I have this story to share with you. When you grow up. Did you know that when you grow up, you still love your mom? Zachary and his mom have the same color of fur. They have the same color of eyes. They both like to hug. They both like chocolate ice cream with honey on the top. And in the morning, they are both yummy, sleepy-eyed, sleepy heads. Zachary says when he grows up, he's going to live with his mom. Mom says that's all right with her, but maybe, says his mom, when you grow up, you'll want to be a famous soccer star. Oh, yes, said Zachary. I will score all the goals. I will be a hero. And then I will come back and live with you. Or maybe, said Mum, when you grow up, you will be a baker. Mmm, said Zachary. I will make sticky chocolate, chocolate birthday cakes every single day. Will you let me lick the bowl? asked Mom. I might, Zachary laughs. And then I will come back and live with you. said mom when you grow up you'll be a pilot and you can fly a helicopter oh <gasps> that'd be great said Zachary I will go high up over the clouds oh yes said mom and then I will come back down and live with you or maybe said mom you'll be an ambulance driver and you'll save someone's life. Yes, said Zachary. I will zoom through the streets with my siren going and my lights flashing, and then I will come back and live with you. Or maybe, said Mom, 
you'll be a cowboy and you'll ride a horse. Yippee, said Zachary, and I will lasso all the cows with my rope. And then maybe I'll be the sheriff, said Zachary. I'll have a shiny car and a big hat. Ooh, said Mom. Yeah, I'm gonna catch all the bad guys and I'm gonna throw them in jail, said Zachary. And then I will come back and live with you. Or maybe, said Mom, you will be a farmer with a red tractor and you'll drive around in the fields. Yes, I think maybe I will, but my tractor should be blue, said Zachary. Oh, oh yes, said Mom. Yes, blue, because blue is my favorite color. And I'll have a big friendly dog and he'll help me look after my sheep, said Zachary. And then I will come back and live with you. Or maybe, said Mom, you'll be a magician. You can make rabbits jump out of a hat. Oh yes, said Zachary, and I will make you disappear. Oh no, said Mom, but then I will make you reappear again. And then I will come back and live with you. Or maybe, said Mom, you'll be a daddy. And then you will have little cubs just like you. Hmm, I might, said Zachary. And then, well, then we will all live next door to you. He really loves his mom. He doesn't want to go away from her. So maybe that's what you will do too, my friends. Maybe you will be all any of those different things. You can be lots of things when you grow up. And then maybe you will live close to your parents. My boys live close to me. I live in Douglasdale and both my boys live in Riverbend. Yeah, so they live close to me. Not right beside me, but very, very close and I love that. So even when you grow up, you still love your mom. And he's like, no matter what I do when I grow up, mom, I will come back and live with you. But usually we don't live with our mummies for, for a long, long time. Not when we're adults. When we move out, but we can stay super close. And it doesn't change how much we love them. So boys and girls, that is it for our Mother's Day circle. So I'm going to attach all of those two cards, the three different pages that you can do for that talk about what things you like about your mom and what she likes about you. Um, and then all of those special poster pages that you can color with your brothers and sisters or your daddies and put them up all over the house so that when your mommy wakes up on Mother's Day, everywhere she'll know just how much you love and appreciate her. And until then, it's our goodbye train. Are you ready? Oh, the goodbye train is coming. See you soon. train is coming. See you soon. Choo choo. Oh, we'll say goodbye to all the girls. See you soon. Choo choo. Oh, we'll say goodbye to all the boys. See you soon. Choo choo. Oh, we'll say goodbye to all the mummies. We'll say goodbye to all the daddies. <laughs> we'll say goodbye to all the siblings, all the brothers and sisters might be all watching this because you all have special things to do in this video. See you on Monday. I will see you on Monday. So that's after Mother's Day because we have the two S days. So the first S day is going to be Saturday, my friends. And then Sunday, that's that special Mother's Day. So that will be on the 10th. The 10th of May is Mother's Day. This one will be nine, that one will be
will be 10. And so on Sunday, May 10th, you have to have all of your stuff ready for your mom. All right, so you've got a few busy days ahead of you, my friends. And um, until we meet again, everybody needs to stay safe and healthy. And I love you. And I miss you, but I'll see you soon.